guys, welcome to Kristen on the Rise. I am Kristen and this is my daughter Sophia who will be assisting today. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button because my content is in fact all over the place. There's no genre. I do all kinds of um, box review, witchy stuff, um, readings. I also do paranormal investigations, explorations, uh, family vlogs, uh, behind the scenes, just a bunch of different stuff altogether. because this is my passion to record and just share my life with people. And I like the fact that I can go back and watch you know, things when the kids get older and stuff like that. So yeah. So what I'm doing right now is I have a bunch of boxes that people have sent me for a review. There's about five or six boxes. So I'm going to split it up per business. So this way I will tell you exactly how much each thing is and if it's worth the price. I mean, I can't tell you. I can only tell you my opinion. So your opinion can totally different. But I'm going to tell you how much each thing is. I'm going to tell you my opinion whether or not I would spend the money on it uh, and if we like it, if it's useful, if it's not. I don't know. I don't know what's in these boxes. So let's find out. Okay, guys. So for the first business that we are looking at and reviewing, it's called A Traveler's Garden. So this is a box it came in. See, there's their sticker. Uh, I did rip off the label. So basically, for everything in this box, this cost $148.88 plus shipping. So that includes everything. Um, but what I looked online, I looked at it looks like she upped her prices again. So online it's $155 for this box. Uh, and I don't know how much shipping is. So I guess we'll see whether or not we'll go by her price now. So this is called the Extra Large Rare Mystery Box. So if you order this, it will be a mystery to you. You won't know what's in it when you order it until it gets here. So what we're going to do is Sophia's going to open it. Hopefully maybe there's a label or um, a piece of paper in here or something explaining what everything is. If not, we'll just show you and we'll go from there. Okay, so first we have is, I guess something there's, there's like a lollipop all right inside. so let's see what's in here so this is a little bag of a couple of goodies looks like stickers stuff. business tags so let's see what's in here okay so first what's in here is there's two Ooh. lollipops from original vegan candy enjoy it says enjoy which is good because if you guys don't know your girl is vegan she has i've been vegan for going on a year now so there'll be a video all about that at some point so it's very cool that she has given me two vegan lollipops. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read to you guys the cards that are in here. Okay, she gave us a sticker. Another sticker. Um, and then there's a bunch of these little cards. So here it says, free gift. Thank you for joining us on the journey towards health and well-being. Your purchase supports organic farming projects, medicine herbal education and community outreach we appreciate you and then she leaves a card about her with her email asking you know how we did so to go to her email and let her know okay so it says we love our planet packaged with eco-friendly materials sterilized reused materials and plant-based material as you know your girl is vegan so i absolutely <laughs> love that um here's her business card for anybody out there Free gift. We read that. A guard. Okay. Ganesha's Market. Oh, she gave like a coupon. So there you guys go. Because yeah. I'm not using this. So you guys can use it if you want it. Mm -hmm. um, another sticker. It's her business sticker. Um, and the business card for the, those discounts. And that was in that little baggie. So now... When you open the box, that baggie was on top. This is what it looks like, so we have no idea what's in the box. So we're going to open up the pretty purple paper. Your girl's yep. favorite. Oh, wait, we forgot one thing. <laughs> this came in that little bag, too, so let's see what this is. Oh. All right, it's, a, in fact, two crystals. Well, that's cool. So it came in this little bag. Hold on, because there's another piece of paper in it. That did not come out. Oh, and she gave us more stickers. Oh. So it came in this little purple bag. So here's a sticker that was in that bag. And here's a And sticker. another sticker that was in that bag. 
So, let me see, because that tells me what it is. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. All right, so here's the two crystals that came in the that little purple bag, which is cool. So, this one is, in fact, a tiger's eye. And this one, which I've actually never seen before, so I'm actually happy I got it. And this is called a desert rose. Is so this pretty. Is this That's a tiger, tiger eye. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the box. We're going to see what everything is, and I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, so this is really cool. So inside that box is another box. So this is what's known as the Extra Large Rare Mystery Box. So we're going to see what is so rare about it. As you guys know, this is a pentacle. Pentacle. Yeah. Not a pentagram. Oh. There is a difference between the two. Hollywood has totally messed up the whole thing. Um, so, do your research on it, please. But this is very pretty. So, we're going to open the box and we're going to see. Okay, so, okay. this is inside the box with more pretty purple paper. And it says, again, the Mystery Magic Box Alter Magic. Okay, so Sophia will be opening it and pulling out one thing at a time. So first, I Okay, so hold on. She's got more stickers. Which I like about these stickers, if you're into witchcraft or have any kind of, like, scrapbook. They're really good for scrapbooking, but I like to put them for any kind of mystery or any kind of boxes that I do get for reviews or, you know, just to open up on video. I do have a book that's a little scrapbook. I call it My Book of Shadows. And I add any spells, anything that I want to that book, and that's where these stickers will be going. So here's some purple paper, and we're gonna be opening hold on. You gotta show them first. Opening it up, I do. So the paper, paper. So this is what's inside of it. This is sage. So you burn it, and you can sage your house of um, any kind of negativity, the evil spirits, anything like that. Um, I think. Hold I'm on. Okay, so we, as we're opening it, we have um, a beautiful necklace, well, with the crystal on it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's pretty. It's a moon, a little moon necklace. So it says sterling silver, rain, it says rainbow moonstone. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Go ahead. What's next? So what's... next we have this purple bag with a star on it, and as we're opening it, we are going to um, find a Arctic coin silver planted base. Plant base. Let me see. Plant base. All right. It's an altar coin silver plated brass. Again, it's the uh, pentacle. Make sure you guys take the time to do your research because a pentacle is what's used in, you know, the pagan religions witchcraft stuff like that but then again witchcraft is all different religions a lot of people get that mixed up there's all different types of witches pagan witches there's christian witches there's all kinds witchcraft is not evil at all i mean there is different types of magic but there are witchcraft that is not evil at all and the pentacle is not an evil symbol just like the cross, people sit there and be like, oh, it's so evil, you know, indicates the devil. You got to remember, some religions, the devil does not exist into them. And when it comes to the pentagram, now, if it's inverted, just like the cross, it could signify, you know, the whole devil thing and stuff like that. But the pentacle is not an evil symbol. I'm just, you know, spreading awareness when it comes to that. Okay, so what is next? So next is a blue bag. It kind of sounds like marbles. I'm not. I'm it sounds like saying. marbles. It sounds like. Oh wow. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. Okay. Yeah, a really lot. All right, you guys. These are ruin sets. Here's the card. So. There's like. So they, they come in this blue bag. Oop! Pick it up. And they're just the little. Marbles. The little ruins. Which is cool. I've actually never had anything like this in a mystery box. Amen. So that's pretty, pretty cool. They do sound like marbles. They look like they're made of tiger um, tiger eye, too. Crystals. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Ruin set. That's what it's called. Oop, one fell. Okay, so what's next? Okay, so the next one is a plastic bag. And you kind of can see what's in it. Um, Hold on, let me see. So my mom's going to do the honors of opening it. 
Okay, so here it is, you guys. Uh, the hold on, the card is upside down. Oh. Here, I'm be right back. Okay, we're back. It took me a minute to open this, <laughs> so let's see, because there's a lot of things. Uh, amethysts. That's what these are. So hold on, hold on. Okay. So these are all little amethyst crystals. There's a good like dozen of them. So see, this is the card explaining for protection. Um, amethyst is also used for a bunch of other stuff too, but it looks like she gave the intention of protection. And I don't know what it is. That is. Hold on. I'm afraid I'm gonna break this. Oh. Oh, you know, like, it looks like one of these, um, things you get in the fortune cookies. Yeah. So, it says, the lips of wisdom are closed except to the ears of the understanding. Lan Ikea unveiled. And it just has, like, a business information. Um, it says, when you are asked what you think about something or someone, mention only their qualities. That's what that says. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pick out okay, another one. Okay, so I picked out this one. Another purple? Yep. And we're just going to unwrap it really quick. I think that's too cute. Oh, cool. It says tree of life, flower of... What is that? Yeah, okay. It says tree of life, flower of life, altar cloth. Oh, it's a cloth. So this is, it basically goes on your altar, your tablecloth. So let's see. That looks pretty. It's pretty. Baby. Oh. Okay, guys, I pulled this out of the box and it is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You see it? it is. Now, this is a celestite crystal. So pretty. I actually never had one of those, so that's cool to add to my collection of them. Okay, so what's next? All right, so a blue piece of paper, or wrapping paper, whatever you're going to call it, and there's bubble wrap, and we have a... Uh... Oh, oh, you just dropped the paper. Ooh, this is pretty. Let me see. A bismuth? That's what it's called, the bismuth. It's very pretty. I don't know much about this, so I got no idea. I'm going to have to research that. It might be like a man-made crystal. It's kind of what it looks like. Hey, Sophia, what is so next? There's a couple more things left. Next is um, pink paper and some bubble wrap. And the kids absolutely love these bubble wraps. Yeah. It's called... Um, a selenite crystal wand. Now, for those that don't know, hold on, selenite crystal wand. For those that don't know what selenite is, it actually uh, charges up your crystals without needing moonlight. So a lot of people actually use them um, like in bowls and things like that to put your crystals in. So that's just another natural crystal that will charge your crystals instead of you know putting them in moonlight like or in water or whatever you whatever you have to do. Okay, it looks like a pen. It does look like a pen. <laughs> All right, so I think there's, how many more is left in here? Um, actually, no, oh, one more. Yeah, it looks like there's one more left. Oh. So there's one more, and it looks like there's, this is a, uh, um, oh, a bell. here it is. There's the paper right there. It's an altar bell. A bell. <laughs> Let's see. And again, it's got the pentacle on it so pretty okay guys so again this is from a traveler's garden they do have a website and I will definitely have all that in the description below um, I also are on Etsy as well so this box is $155 I don't know the shipping of it I when um, I originally had gotten the information, it was like $145, but apparently they upped the prices. So all of that for $155. To be honest with you, 
I think it's worth the price. Uh, it comes in its own box. It's rare. A lot of the stuff in there I've actually never seen. It sets you up if you are a beginner witch for your altar, which is, to me, it's really cool. Uh, I like it. And you know what? I will be purchasing from this shop as well. So I'm going to make sure I definitely give them another try. Uh, you got anything to say, Soph? Um, I really like this box. Um, I like all of them. And, yeah. So let's make history not get lost in it. Okay, guys. So if you, again, are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. And make sure you everyone hits that bell notification so you're notified when I post. And... We're going to end up recording the next box because, again, there's quite a few of them. So this is the first mystery box of this series. And I will see you in my next video. Remember, let's make history, not get lost in it. Much love and respect. Hey, hey. Like she said, bye.